Hi, and welcome to another episode of Quaderno Atlantis. My name is Teacher John, and I'm going to be your teacher today. And today's lesson is all about converting math, and this is our objectives for today. Now, what do we use to measure length? Yes, we use the metric unit system to measure how long the object is. And here are some examples of metric units. Number one, it's the kilometer. We use kilometer to measure the distance. For example, the distance from your house to your school, from Baguio City to Manila, and from Luzon to Mindanao. Secondly is the meter. Now, we use meter to measure medium to large objects, such as your flagpoles, your blackboard, your fabrics, and even some animals like tigers, elephants, and alligators. Next one is centimeter. Now, we use centimeter to measure small objects like your cell phone, your books, your ball pen, and your school materials. And now, millimeter. Now, we use millimeter to measure tiny objects such as your fingernails, your needles, and it's... Here's what I want you to remember when you are going to convert length. Number one, it's kilometer or km. One kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meters. Then, one meter or 1m. Now, 1 meter is equivalent to 100 centimeter. 1 centimeter is equivalent to 10 millimeter. Now, how do we convert? First, you have to determine whether you are going to convert smaller unit to the next larger unit or vice versa. For example, 3 kilometers is equals to how many meters? Yes, it's 3,000 meters because it's 3 times 1,000. We know that 1 kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meters. Now, 3 times 1,000 is 3,000. Next problem, 120 millimeter is equivalent to how many centimeters? In this problem, we need to use division since we are converting from smaller unit going to the next larger unit. Now, 120 divided by 10 is equals to 12. For your practice, I want you to convert the following. If you need more time to solve, you can pause the video. Let's see if you really understand the lesson. Now, I want you to read and analyze the following problem.
lesson for today. See you again on the next episode of Quaderno. If you think this video is helpful, kindly click like and subscribe. Bye.